I am here at uh, Ituba campsite on the eastern side of North Rwangwa National Park and it's, uh, it's a new campsite. It was formerly known as Chifunda Camp, community camp. It's still run by the community but it's completely newly set up by, as I understand, by the Frankfurt Zoological uh, well, University or program or I'm not quite sure but it's the same uh, institute that sponsors the whole North Rwangwa National Park and makes sure that enough of uh, investigations and, and studies are taking place inside the park. Now, the park itself has an outer boundary and a very, very protective inside boundary where it uh, is basically a sanctuary for, uh, uh, for a lot of black rhinos that were, uh, that were brought here many, many years ago. And, and as I understand, they thrive very well. To see all the wildlife, you have to, well, either be lucky, of course, but you have to really go to the to the river Mwalasi River uh, in, the, in the middle of the park, which you can only visit uh, if there is a scout with you present in the vehicle or when you have a previous booking with, uh, with one of the camps there. Now, the campsite itself, it's uh, situated on the Luangwa River, uh, as you can see behind me. <laughs> Uh, it's, a, it's a flowing river all year long, it's, it's now the dry season, so the, 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 the amount of water in the river is, is not so much as it is in the wet season. Uh, to cross from uh, the North Wangwa Park into the campsite, you have to uh, get on a well, somewhat unstable pontoon. Uh, that is uh, manually uh, uh, pulled over the Luangwa River, which is an uh, excitement by itself. Let me put it that way. Uh, uh, luckily, we managed already three times, and, uh, and I'm sure uh, many, many, many people after us will manage as well. Sorry, I got distracted. Something was moving there, I thought, but it was just a, a garbage bag. Now, the campsite, uh, there is a fire pit. Uh, they will provide firewood for you free of charge. Uh, there is a uh, there are three campsites actually uh, the the campsites uh, that we are on are provided with an ablution block with hot and cold water and uh, those are usually the ones that are occupied the first and then there is a third campsite that only has cold running water and cold showers so if you are lucky and you are here as number one you or number two you will get the ablutions with the warm water otherwise you are stuck with cold water showers maybe at one point in time they will install a donkey there as well as tourism picks up again but uh, let me show you around and you will see for yourself so as i mentioned the campsite is on the luangwa river which you can see there and there is a fire pit with firewood and there's also a small station where you can do your dishes uh, with the uh, running cold water and just here on the left a newly built building with uh, three showers and two toilets normal flushing toilets no long drops or anything like that just normal flushing toilets uh, showers well you can see immediately when you go inside that it's brand new the shower heads are still shiny and, uh, and quite big ones as well, just as they were at the Samala camp on the other side of the park. Now, three showers, one, two, three. Now, I must say that for us tall Europeans, these walls are a little bit too low. <laughs> I think they need to add a little bit uh, to it. Uh, so everyone can shower privately, but that's just my opinion. Um, the shower itself, it, uh, or the shower area, has a bench which is nice where you can put your clothes and keep them dry. And for the rest, well, there's nothing more to say really. Hot and cold water, it's the most important thing. And right next door is one of the toilets. Just a normal, still very shiny, flushing toilet. Toilet paper is provided, they uh, will bring it to you the moment that there are clients and otherwise they have it in their main camp area. Now right around the corner or right around the building you will see over there the donkey hidden. There it is. And they will light it for you whenever you request. And then over here, there is a, also a dish washing area. So all in all, pretty nicely set up camp. Very private, very seclusive, right on the Luangwa River, uh, close by the pontoon, which will help you cross 
into the North Lavangla National Park. Ituba, it's called nowadays. I hope this preview was useful for you. If you want to know more about self-drives in Botswana or Zambia, feel free to visit us at www.cocellosafaris.com. We are the self-drive specialist for Botswana and Zambia. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel to get regular updates. See you next time.